the excitement about games, this constant growth it's had. Has that over time been like kind of bringing in more and more investors from outside of games uh, as we go on? Absolutely. So and in each of those different categories, it's all it's slightly different. So angel investors tend to invest in packs and there tends to be a lead angel or two. And what they often have is people they've met on the network, on the circuit, maybe in angel investment groups where somebody who specializes in, in one area um, will talk about a, a potential interesting investment. And then 10 others might join them and each of them drop 25 grand. But you might only have one person who really knows that sector, but they trust everybody else, trust that person, and then they follow that person. So um, you will find that more and more people are getting slightly more experienced of investing in games in, as, as angels. For VCs, that's definitely the case. That's been steadily increasing right up until 2022. And then the numbers started to subside for the reasons we've been discussing as the macroeconomic conditions sort of started to decline a little. We're expecting that um, those to return and to continue to grow. And that's ultimately driven by a market that is going to be topping 200 billion um, this or, or next year um, and will continue to grow at a rate that almost every other media market um, is envious of. 